Right, welcome. Uh, this video is going to be about creating controls at runtime. So in other words, uh, you can add controls through code and put them on your form. Now there's two ways of doing this. One is using uh, a flow layout panel and one isn't. So I'll show you that I'm not using a flow layout panel to begin with. So let's just put a button on the form. Now, um, here we go, there's a button. Now, um, now I'm using my, my surface here, so the scaling's all gone to, to pop, really. Right, okay, so let's double click on the button. I'm not gonna rename anything, I know that's bad form. Let's get on with it. Right, so what I can do is declare um, a label. Let's have a label. So a label, you notice it's just a label, just like a integer, whatever string. I call it LBL equals new label. Okay, so that's that's created the new label. We haven't added it to our form yet, so we have to give our label some properties. So let's give it some label um, dot name. Uh, let's call it LBL1. Um, let's give it a text property, LBL dot text. We won't be able to see anything when we put it on the form. Equals higher. And we give it a back color, I suppose. LBL back color equals or dot azure. Right. Now we haven't as you say we created the label, it's not actually on the form yet. So to add it to the form we say this dot controls dot add and then our label. Now what I've forgotten to do is give it a location. So let's just see if that actually does anything. Don't think it will. But it, yeah, it put it there actually. That's all right. So you can see our labels up there. Now we can give it a location. So you can say lbl dot location um, equals new point, and then we can give it x y coordinates. So let's say fifty comma fifty. Right. So now it should be slightly across and down a bit. So. There we go. So it's 50 across, 50 down. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Okay, and you can do that to your heart's content. So I can chuck that in a loop. Um, let's do that. Um, and so, well, I'm not going to even do that. Actually, I could put it in a loop, but then I have to redo the uh, the coordinates each time. It's not. It's not a terrible hassle, but it's a pain. Pain, pretty much pain. No, we'll do it. We'll do it. So let's let's surround that with a for loop, and here we go. So um, what I want to do now then is say what fifty. Um, I need a variable here for my x. I just add int add equals zero. And then I'm going to just put plus add here, plus add there, and then add equals add plus 50. Actually, I don't need to, I'll just add it to the x coordinates, not to the, no, just to the y, so I don't need it there. Okay, now the other thing is obviously I've, I can't keep normal call, calling the same for uh, control the same name. So what I want to do is is just add i to the end and that will give them all separate names. All right, just put the number at the end. Right, so let's do it 10 times. And off we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can put text boxes in there as well if I wanted to and things like that. Okay, now let's, let's show the other way. Now the other way is slightly easier. Um, so what I'm going to add in the component section is a flow layout panel. No, not components, containers. Uh, flow layout panel. So here's a flow layout panel. Now you can just add stuff to this, and by magic it will kind of it will order them. You don't need to worry about the um, 
location essentially. So let's add a new button for this one. Can you move that? Come on. Right. Okay, so let's just copy that one. And here we go. Right, so again, I'm not renaming the stuff, which is pretty bad. Okay. So all I've got to do this time, if I want to add something uh, to my flow layout panel, I'm going to nick my code there. Get rid of the location stuff, but I don't need it. And that line there goes as well. So, um, so it's the same sort of thing again. I'm renaming them now. But what I'm doing is now I'm going to say flow layout panel one, which is my flow layout panel I just added. Dot controls. Dot add. And then <clears throat> I can have my label. Okay. So now when I run it. Now it's, it's not put much space in. You can tell it to put padding around it and things like that so it will space stuff out. But if I resize my flow layout panel, for instance, if I make it a bit narrower, it will only do one column, I should think. Yeah, so there's there's 10 just in one column. So it just what it tends to do is, is it fills it up from left to right. If it can't, if it runs out of space, it just puts on a new line. So that's quite handy. And also what we could do in there is we could add something else as well. So we could add, uh, let's add a button for, I don't know why, let's add a button. And called btn equals new button. Okay, you need the brackets there because, okay, so again, I'm doing the same sort of thing then. I'm saying btn dot name, that's important to give it a name. Oh, hang on, not button one. Yeah, it's button I want, just button. Right, so btn dot name equals btn and okay, um, and I, and then I'm just going to leave, I'll put a bit of text on it, I'll put okay. Uh, btn dot text equals okay right so then I can add it after the label so I just add that in there so btn okay so now what's my flow out panel looking like that's all right let's just run it and see what we get Okay, so you can see I've got buttons next to that. That worked out a bit better than I thought, actually. Right, so that's quite easy. Now, what you can also do is access these controls. So I'm going to add another button to access the controls as well. So this one here is going to be... Now, what I'm going to do is change all the buttons color in there. So once they're already created, you can still access them. So... I'll just change the text on this so I know what I'm doing. So change color. Right, okay, I know that's an American spelling, but I'll live. Right, now, how do we access these controls? Well, what we need to use is a for each loop. Now, we say for each, tab, tab. Now, leave the var there. Now I'm going to say control, C-T-R-L. Now I'm going to do it in the flow layout panel. I could say this dot controls if I'm just accessing the form, but I'm not, I'm going to access the flow layout panel. So it's uh, flow layout panel one dot controls. Okay. Now what that will do, control, C-T-R-L, um, will equal, will just loop around everything on there. Now, the thing is, I only want to access a button. Now, a button has different um, con uh, properties to a label. So, control is, you know, it's, it's kind of generic, and we want one that's specific to a button or, or whatever con control we're looking at. So, what we need to do, we need to have an if statement in there. And we're going to say if CTRL is button. Yeah. 
Okay, so that will leave the labels alone. Now, because I know it's a button, I can now um, declare something as a button. Okay, I'm just doing a bit of a check there. So I can say, right, button. So I'm declaring a button called btn, and it's going to be equal to my. I'll explain what this bracket is. This is basically casting um, CTRL. Now, so what that's doing, I'm declaring a button. I'm not doing the new because the, what new does, it creates a brand new object. The, but, the, the, the object already exists, but we're saying, well, this variable, you like, or, or is going to equal the control. Now, this brackets here is casting that or converting that control into a button. And because it is a button, we know it's a button, it's going to do it successfully. Now I can do this. I can say btn dot back color equals color dot hot pink. Don't know what honeydew is. So now what should happen is I've, okay, I've created the, the the labels and the buttons. If I click on that, it should just change how it did. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so you've got two options. You, you can create them using flow layout panels, or you can create them in the flow uh, without, but you need to put the location in. And when you access them, you use a for each var control in either the f that could be this dot controls or the flow layout panel and then you can use an if statement in here to actually determine what you're doing obviously you can use the name if you've used the, the naming convention for a particular type of button then i could have another if in here for instance that says right if the control dot name is this then i'm going to change that it's really really useful stuff okay um that is it okay